Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Arthur from Draft Media. Today we look at French big man Yoan Macundo. Kundo is an athletic power forward who could really play above the rim. 81% of his shots are two-point attempts with the vast majority being right at the rim. He's very active for his size. He cuts to the basket for easy dunks which explains the 51% field goal percentage. Cholette does a great job using him on this Spain pick and roll. Watch how Makundo is receiving a back screen right after setting his own screen, creating a beautiful backdoor lob. He gets creative with his footwork to find himself open for lobs. A legit lob threat really helps alleviate pressure for the pick and roll ball handler, a skill that will absolutely be utilized and translate to the next level. Yoan very rarely posts up and it's clear to see why. Fortunately, he won't be asked to do this for NBA teams. Makundo's mid-range game doesn't seem too promising. He doesn't take them often and even when he does, the form is all over the place. Hopefully he'll be able to continue improving on this. However, his three-point game seems to have some potential. He's shooting right under 32% from three, but the form looks good. 12 out of the 22 total threes he's attempted all season came over the span of just three games. It seems he really has to find the confidence to consistently let it fly. He's had nine games out of 19 total where he hadn't even attempted one. A consistent shot would really open up his game at the next level. You can see just how bad his confidence can be, as he refuses to shoot and rather decides to put the ball on the floor which ends up horrible almost every time. As I mentioned before, Makundo loves to attack the closeout, and while I'm still not too big of a fan of it, he does get an assist from it every now and then. His passing isn't anything game changing, but he definitely isn't a ball stopper by any means, which is always good. He's averaging 1.2 turnovers a game, and the way he looks for these assists is a big reason why. He plays a dangerous game. He leaves his feet and doesn't look at the defender in front of him, inviting an easy opportunity to take a charge. Moving on to defense, Makundo is a talented shot blocker. His athleticism paired with the 6 foot 9, 225 pound frame and reported 7 foot 3 wingspan are all the tools needed in the making of a good interior defender and Makundo is just that. The stats say he's only had 7 blocks all season, but the tape clearly shows he's had a lot more. He goes straight up and alters shots even when he doesn't get the block. His motor is his greatest asset which he brings on both ends of the floor. Good help defender as well. Watch how he quickly realizes his teammate is beat off the dribble and rotates inside to take away the drive while his teammate rotates out to his assignment. He never gives up on the play. You see him track down the opponent full court and get the block. He's a decent post defender as well. I would like to see him use his forearm to take away ground from his opponent, but you can see how he uses his quick leap to contest shots and change his trajectory. Implicating the forearm would make life a lot harder for his opponents, rather than just getting bullied into the paint on this play. Makundo's defensive versatility is my favorite aspect of his game. Watch how he takes away the inside pass and still manages to run out to the open shooter to alter the shot. It's a common occurrence for Makundo. He guards multiple players on the same possession frequently. He still manages to get back to his man and alter the shot, which is why his opponents end up making so many bank shots. He closes out fast and effectively almost every time. He's so athletic he manages to even block a few of these shots. He's 
able to guard nearly every position on the court. He stays with the guard on this whole possession, but great offense beats great defense. His perimeter defense has NBA written all over it. Makundo might just be the unluckiest player ever. Even when he plays perfect defense, it seems his opponents make the shots more than anybody else. On this play, despite having a hedge super high on the screen, Yoan still runs full speed to close out to his new assignment across the court and still manages to get there on time. He moves really well laterally and will be a real asset on defense. His game reminds me a lot of Precious Achiwa of the Toronto Raptors. I envision him in a similar role, as well as Jeremy Grant before he went to Detroit and Jared Vanderbilt from Minnesota. You can see him stay with the guard on this pick and roll. Forces the pickup and switches back to the big inside seamlessly, and even attempts to contest the shot coming from the other side for good measure. The same way a made shot doesn't always imply bad defense, a made shot doesn't always mean the defense was good. Makundo completely gave the lane away on this play. He also gambles way too much on this play, again, giving up an open lane. Hey, this shit wavy, wavy. Moving on to his rebounding, averaging 5.4 a game in 22 minutes is good production. The one complaint I have is his unwillingness to box out. It's almost as if he just says you can't jump higher than me when going for rebounds, which to his credit has worked so far, but at the next level, everyone is a freak athlete. The same applies on the offensive board. He's averaging right under two a game and it's greatly due to his athleticism. These putbacks are a thing of beauty as well. I would also like to mention Johan's constant hustle on the court. Feels like he'll save at least one possession a game and turn it into a positive. Thank you guys for watching. Consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel.